I started out as a theoretical physicist, and then I went from there to write for Hollywood. I wrote for shows like MacGyver and Star Trek and a bunch of other shows for about eight or nine years. And then at some point, Stephen Hawking read a couple of my books, and one day I got a phone call, so his assistant called and said, do you want to write with Stephen Hawking? Okay, sure. <laughs> so I wrote two books with him, and that was very, well, it was fun and it was very interesting. At some point I got interested in neuroscience because the brain is complicated like the universe, even more complicated and uh, even more important to us. Since the technological breakthroughs happened, scientists have developed a new idea about the unconscious mind is and it's very different from that of Freud or Jung. It's nothing that can be exposed through introspection or therapy. It's something that is outside of your awareness uh, because of the architecture of your brain. Human thinking can be put on a spectrum where at one end is logical analytical thinking to solve problems that you've seen before where you kind of know how to attack the problem. How do you get from A to B to C using uh, logical reasoning? The other kind of thinking is elastic thinking and elastic thinking is good when you have a situation that you didn't encounter before or something's changed. So now, it's not a question of reasoning A to B to C, it's a question of figuring out how do I look at this? What are my goals? What is my approach? What is the framework by which I should understand the situation or the changed situation? In my book, Elastic, I talk about a lot of exercises, the things you can do to encourage elastic thinking, and also I give some questionnaires or tests that you can do to show you which aspects maybe you need to work on. For example, some things that are bad for elastic thinking. Um, fear of failure, that's very bad. Why? Most of these things that are bad are bad because they make your filters keep more things out. As a theoretical physicist, I know that most of my ideas are wrong. I'm wrong all the time. But if I don't let crazy thoughts into my mind, I'm not gonna get good ideas. I'm only gonna have the same ideas that everyone else already had, and I'm not gonna do anything new. Uncertainty, you have to learn to love uncertainty because you're going down a path where you're not sure where it's going. If, you're, if you wanna know where you're going all the time, you're never gonna explore. When you're thinking about something, you have to learn to take your time. People always wanna be, they wanna solve the problem fast. When you wanna solve it fast, what do you do? You take the first thing that you think of and you go in that direction. If you wanna be more imaginative, uh, you have to open yourself up, talk to different people. So if you're at a restaurant or a bus stop or on an airplane, wherever you are, always try to talk to people who seem as different as you are and listen to them. If they say things that you don't agree with, don't argue, listen.